Tonight on Raw is War. Cactus Jack versus Mark Henry. Thank you for joining us again, ladies and gentlemen, for the final Raw is War of the WWF WrestleMania 2000 tournament. And out comes Cactus Jack, who we already saw once before in this tournament when he failed in helping Dude Love beat Jeff Jarrett. Yes, you heard that correctly. Cactus Jack came out to help Dude Love. It turns out the suspicions that many of us have had over the years about the identity of Dude Love and Cactus Jack. Which one is Mick Foley? Are they both Mick Foley? Turns out Mick Foley has a brother named Mitchell Foley and Mitchell Foley has been Dude Love. Which, if you think about it, does make a whole lot of sense. And we have sexual chocolate, I know Mark Henry, the world's yeah. strongest man slash world's mean. strongest jobber. Now, being a randomized me. tournament, these two gentlemen were just thrown me. together. But no, 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 no. Mark Henry just got a look at Cactus Jack, Mick Foley's daughter, Noel, and decided, hey, I'm going to be sexual chocolate. And he told Cactus Jack he was going to go after his daughter. Big mistake. Big mistake by Mark Henry to be wanting to go after. To just have the thirst for Noel. You know why? Because I'm the one. I am the one who's got that territory covered. The club to the back. It's Mick Foley or Cactus Jack can certainly take a pounding. Uh, it's going against Mark Henry. Probably not a good choice of words. Um, let's see. Oh, he hits him in the proverbial sexual chocolate of Mark Henry. Um, yeah, it's just gonna. Hopefully, it'll be some sort of a slobber knocker. You know, they're gonna toss the drag it, go all over the place. Just kind of gotta watch my words here. Because Mark Henry might take it literal. You know, there was that time that he hooked up with that transsexual, so, you know, not that there's anything wrong with that. You know, Mark Henry, he's got all kinds of random tastes. He doesn't have anything specific in mind, so you never know. Big Foley's got the long hair, he's got a bit of a beard. So, yeah, you know, it might throw Mark Henry off, so you gotta watch your words about talking about this battle between these two men who both. Way over 300 pounds, Mark Henry, probably somewhere around 450, I'd say, and with a decent suplex there. Not clumsy at all. Kind of curious as to where Mark Henry came from because he is out here in his pajama pants right now. He's got his multicolored black top, red bottom onesies. It looks like two different pairs of clothes, but Mark Henry is a man who wears a onesie and I can respect that, but I cannot respect his thirst for Noel Foley, one of the most beautiful women on the planet. Reverses, uh, throws him in the air. Mark Henry taking charge of this. He is definitely the one with the upper hand. It, okay, yeah, that's okay. He's got, he's got the upper hand in this contest right here. Oh, well, kick to the gut. Another club. He tries to hit it between the legs again, but Mark Henry is protecting that life. His life depends on it. You do know that his sexual chocolate gimmick certainly depends on that. Henry is the one who is looking like the veteran in this contest, not Cactus Jack. But Cactus Jack has been known, has known to be on the bottom for most of the time which is something that Mark Henry is perfectly okay with, being on top, uh, well, yeah. On an elbow to the leg. Using that tactic that many have used throughout this tournament of attacking one's legs with their elbow. Oh, and Henry reverses the suplex. Foley's slow to get up, but he's grabbing his ear, or, well, or not grabbing his, I don't know. Yeah, I can never remember what side it's on. His hair is long, so it's hard to tell. Mark Henry gets on top of Cactus Jack, and he tries to take the air out of him, but Jack 
shakes them off. Oh, they're a nice toss. Oh, and with the big T, power face slam head punch by Mark Henry. Going for another suplex. I don't think Jack has managed to pull that off. I've been talking a lot of nonsense this match. I haven't seen it all. Mark Henry is signaling that this might be the end of the match. What is his finisher going to be? And a backdrop. Oh my goodness! It's Tess! Tess! Surprising it was not picked to be in this tournament. One of the greatest big match in WWFE history. Known throughout the legend for all the females throughout Canada. Tess is known as the Canadian main vein. He's looking out for his friend Mick Foley as he turns sexual chocolate Mark Henry into a busted cherry chocolate covered cherry. His juices are all over the place and not the kind that Mark Henry is used to or likes. Oh, it's Test and Cactus Jack sandwich Mark Henry together like a graham cracker Hershey s'more. Not unlike the one that Noel and I put together on our camping trip last weekend. Let's take a look at this again. Bam! Double clothesline. The s'more. Off the ropes. A uh, kick right to his gut. Mark Henry getting busted open has done a hell of a lot of damage to the big man. The world's strongest piece of dark chocolate. Oh, what an elbow to the back of his neck. Oh, and it is a carry! The reversal. Oh, and he elbows him in the face. Test, why in the hell are you rolling up Mark Henry, eh? This is not that kind of match. You interfered. It might be the WWF where they don't know who's tagged in or whatever, but when you interfere, you cannot make a pin. Oh, reversal into the corner. Oh, what a chop right to Mark Henry's chin. He starts working the big man's left knee. And a whiff of the clothesline. He throws him outside. Jack's going up top. Oh, he hits him with the Cactus Jack elbow. The trademark Cactus Jack elbow. A move we've seen many utilize, but to see the legend himself, the hardcore legend himself pull it off, is a sight to behold, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, knocks him in the throat this time. Oh, reverse. Oh, the fourth one, and he gets him in the throat. Henry showing off his flabs of arm muscle, quote unquote. Oh, Jack grabs a suitcase. Oh, smacks him right in the chest. Oh, what a vicious. Oh, he is just going to town on Mark Henry in a way that Mark Henry has never received before in his life. And those words being used in that way certainly gotta piss him off. Please nobody tell him, because he could probably beat the crap out of me. Another club. He's just clubbing Cactus Jack like a baby seal in Asia. We know the reversal for Mark Henry. Oh, next him in the throat again. One of the few moves Jack is utilizing superbly in this match. Oh, he stays there. Oh, the shoulder tackle. Goes for the cover. Two. Cactus barely kicks out. A surprisingly thrilling match so far, ladies and gentlemen. I give most of that credit to the Canadian main vein. Test. Him showing up certainly ignited this match and evened it up. Oh, and he, out of nowhere, Mark Henry. Two. Oh, and Cactus Jack barely kicks out of that full Nelson slam or a modified full Nelson slam. 
and other drug shops. You'd almost think he's Ric Flair, but Cactus Jack would certainly take a bet to be referred to Ric Flair. As many of you know, those two have a bad history together that unfortunately we will never be able to see in this kind of a tournament. Oh, he's going. He's going to get the barbed wire back. No, he gets a steel chair. A favorite of the attitude era. And Henry grabs a chair and does nothing with it. Damn you, Mark Henry. We could have gotten a chair shot to the head. Something we've all wanted to see for a very long time. One strike. One strike from the world's strongest man, Mark Henry. Oh, Jack's back into it. Oh, and once again, another military press. Oh, this might be it. Two, and Cactus Jack barely kicks out, showing off that testicular fortitude that he's so proud of talking about. Nice slam by Mark Henry, show it off for all the old ladies in the crowd. He misses again with another attempted low blow. Whoa. 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 It's the Undertaker! The Undertaker is coming out! But who is he going to help out? Is he going to help out perhaps in a three-on-one on Mark Henry? Something he would like in many other situations, but certainly not in the ring. And, oh, he looks... Yep, he's got his eyes on... Oh, no! No, 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 no! Oh, and a tombstone pile driver to Cactus Jack! Reigniting a feud that they have had spanning back almost 20 years as Tess helps out Cactus Jack once again. And Mark Henry gets smacked in the face. He got in the way of The Undertaker. Undertaker clearly coming out by himself, doing business for himself and not trying to help out Mark Henry at all. Not giving a crap either. Oh, and he hits Big Foley right in the Noel Maker. Oh, what a hook kick! Foley and Test are getting their asses kicked. Backdrop. Mark Henry's apparently, it seems to be his special move, the backdrop. Oh, what a forearm smash. Trademark forearm smash by Cactus Tech, but to the taker's back as he tries to hit him in the Noel Maker again, but that will not happen again. Oh, what a fair hug. Trade marked by Bruno Sammartino, but Mark Henry, you are no Bruno Sammartino, despite reversing a suplex yet again as he drops that mound of ass, that chocolate mound of ass on Cactus Jack. Uh, and he hits up in the throat. Goes for the cover. Two. Cactus Jack is still in it. That testicular fortitude is strong. Slides out of the way, and it knocks him in the back. Oh, he's got him in the camel clutch. See how this is going for him. He tapped out. What kind of special maneuver did Kekka check there? What did he learn from the Iron Sheik? How to be able to wrench that neck and his back so far back to make him tap out. Well, he barely got in any offense, but this was a long match, a 12-minute match, perhaps the longest that Mark Henry has ever been involved in that was not located in a bedroom with Mae Young. There it is, he taps out. Foley standing strong. Moving on to the second round of the tournament. One more look at this again. Struggling, Mark Henry struggling. As the ladies, you can hear screaming their heads off at home and all around Canada, Diego is the C test. This is a test once again. And there you see it. Cactus Jack moves on to the second round of the tournament. And in the final match of the first round, we have Val Venus versus Al Nobody Snow.